Hey there everyone, Laurel Beard here. Welcome to day three of the five days of foiling with myself and Justine Hovey. We've teamed up to bring you loads and loads of information. Today we're gonna to be using some clear designer toner sheets. All the links will be listed below in the YouTube description to her blog and video, as well as my blog with more still shots. So let's get started. These are the clear designer toner sheets. They include four eight and a half by 11 designer toner sheets. So anything black there is gonna foil. Now the foil goes on the dull or textured side. Sometimes the both sides feel exactly the same. So I hold it up to the light and there's a dull side. So you'll flip it over and you'll see shiny, you'll flip it over, you'll see dull. You wanna texture, I mean, you wanna foil over the dull side. So I went ahead and put some of this foil in to my laminating machine and I'm gonna run it through. Again, dull side. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes you can't tell the difference between the texture. So just kind of angle it in the light until you can, you'll be able to see. It's hard to get that on the video, but you'll be able to see the dull side versus the shiny side. Um, and then when you peel that up, first I'm left with that space. I'm going to use that in another video, that negative piece of foil. But then you're left with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful design. And all I did for this is I sprayed a little bit of picked raspberry paint in the background and then put that clear designer sheet right over the top and I've got this beautiful card that really took no time at all. This is a little tiny strip that was left over, so I'm going to foil that again, dull side up with some of this rainbow foil, and then I'm gonna be left with this really cute rainbow uh, background here. Now, I run these things through my laminating machine many times because there's a lot of spaces, open space to foil, so I wanna make sure that all the foil gets uh, heated to the design. So here's the card I made with that little strip. And that was just a total leftover uh, a strip there. <laughs> I love that rainbow foil. I gotta tell you, I just love it. So here's one more design. I'm again laying some gold foil right over the top and I'll run that through my laminating machine a couple of times. Make sure your laminator is good and hot anytime you foil um, and you'll get really, really good results. And there are many laminating machines on the market. Um, this one that I have, I got from Costco many years ago, uh, probably before I even started crafting. And uh, it was like, I don't know, 20 bucks, but you can get some off of Amazon as well that are good, and I'll, I'll link to it below in case you're interested in, in getting a laminator. Uh, so I'm gonna do a couple more designs here, and then I'm gonna uh, make a card for you. So uh, yeah, this one is probably my favorite, and this is what I'm gonna turn into a card. The design is beautiful. I chose this beautiful green fancy foil from Gina K. It's just beautiful. It also has a lot of open spaces there. So I've got that negative space I can use later, which I will do in, a, in, a, in the final video of the series. And I'm left with this beautiful foiled foliage card, right? So I'm gonna create this card for you. This is, this is the card I, I made originally and I fell in love with it so much, I decided to recreate it for the video today. Take your beautifully foiled design and flip it over to where you see the black. And then I'm taking some alcohol markers. Now these alcohol markers are from Alta New, but you can use any alcohol markers that you have. You wanna choose bold colors, um, so it really shines through on the other side, but I'm just going in and coloring. Now here I decided to get smart, and I pulled a piece of uh, paper out from the garbage. Pretty sure it came from, yeah, that's some labels from the garbage. <laughs> because I don't wanna get uh, the alcohol marker on my mat there, it, won't, it will be hard to get up. Uh, so and again, I'm choosing bold colors and I'm just coloring in. You don't have to stay in the lines. You can be messy, you can be organic, you can do whatever you want here. But I'm gonna make sure that every single image uh, on the back side of this gets some color. Now you could only color a couple of the images and that would be very pretty as well because you're gonna like spotlighting some of those clusters of flowers if you wanted to. Uh, but I chose to make sure that every single image was colored. <laughs> you can't do a lot of shading on this kind of like on acetate or vellum, you can't really get a lot of shading in. So that's another reason why I chose to go with uh, dark, you know, bold, bright colors. So here I am, I'm just going in, I'm not fully coloring in the leaves. You can see I'm just flipping in some color here and there. And I'm gonna go in with a darker green and add a little color here and there as well. And then it dries almost instantaneously because these are alcohol markers. So once it's ready to go, this side is beautiful, isn't it? It's just beautiful. But let's flip it over because that's where all the pretty is. Look, you get that foiled shine and then you get the color from the markers that you just put down. I mean, seriously, this is so pretty. So I took a sentiment strip here. I've already gone ahead and stamped it onto some black cardstock. I white heat embossed it. So it really, I love black on white. I just, I just do. I'm gonna adhere this down to white. I find that the adhesive doesn't show when you use a light card base. And this is some ThermaWeb super strong adhesive, I really love it. So I'm gonna adhere that right down to my white card base and then I'm gonna adhere my sentiment strip down. I'm gonna pop that baby up with some foam tape and that's gonna be my card. 
it's just, I love it. This might be one of my favorite designs. I mean, seriously. And it's really effortless. You just foil, color, adhere, done. <laughs> so thank you for joining me for day three of my five days of foiling series with Justine Huppy. Make sure you check our YouTube descriptions below. You'll have links to uh, her YouTube channel and her blog and my blog are below. Here's all the cards I've made for the entire series. I mean, seriously, I got a little wild and crazy. <laughs> Gone foil crazy. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you back tomorrow for day four. We're going to be focusing on the Gina K stamp and foil bundle. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Here are links to day one, two, and three in case you've missed it. I'll see you tomorrow.